I'm with Jan McNeilan this morning in her garden, and Jan, I just love your Daphne. It's blooming. Yeah, this is Daphne Odora marginata. It Beautiful. blooms starting in, well, late January, early February, and it smells so good, but it it's triggers everybody to think it's <laughs> spring and they should run out and start doing all their gardening. Oh, so it's true. <laughs> there's some things you can do and things you need to wait on. Yeah, I know I've been really doing a lot of cleanup in my garden, cutting perennials back, just kind of taking all the um, old, old leaves off and just right. really discovering a lot of things coming up. Right, it's kind of, it's a fun time of year, but it's also a time of year to keep in mind the soil temperatures are still really cold. Mm. So there's a lot of things that aren't gonna do well now. Some people wanna throw out that grass seed now <laughs> and in the Willamette Valley, it's April 15th. You wanna wait till the soil warms up because if you put it out too soon, it's gonna rot and you're not gonna have any germination. In other parts of Oregon and, and, and Washington, it uh, may vary, so contact your local extension office to find out when the best time to do some lawn planting is. And if you have full shade, there isn't any grass that's going <laughs> right. to grow in full shade. You can try it, but it, you consider it an annual to do every year. Right, really kind of go to Independent Garden Center, see some other kind of ground cover maybe instead sure. of lawn to put right. there. Right. And that website is really good for all kinds of information. I really go to it a lot for more information. Yeah, the extension um, website has the catalog. You'll see it on the screen. Um, you can get to the extension catalog for all the, the uh, publications that come out and all the gardening publications. And, and a couple of examples, this is uh, Vegetable Gardening in Oregon, and it, it includes, um, you can download it and print it just like I did. But what's nice about it, it includes a map with regions in it of Oregon, and then it includes a list of, of varieties of vegetables to plant and uh, when to plant them oh, in helpful. what part of mm -hmm. the state. And the same would go for um, Western and Eastern Washington. Right, that is really a good resource, something to always remember. And another thing that's fun, is <clears throat> that you can also go on uh, online and see the research that OSU is doing. Mm. This is the 2010 research on tomatoes. Tells you what they planted, what they tried, how big it got, what the tastes were, what they th what were thinking. And you can kind of watch things come along, mm -hmm. like Indigo Rose that's now that on the one. market. Yeah. That's really a lot of fun. That's a black uh, tomato. And the other thing to do is is that when you're uh, planting tomatoes, which isn't now until it gets really warm <laughs> right, outside, right. Have to wait uh, into May, um, unless you want to put walls of water or something else sure. around them, um, is that when you're choosing your tomato plants, such as a patio tomato, mm -hmm. there's a difference between that and one that's indeterminate. Right. A determined size patio tomato, dwarf, right. small, or determinate is usually around it'll get four feet maybe, okay. but an indeterminate tomato can get to six to 10 feet. So while you're shuffling all the tomato plants around and deciding what to get, take a look at the tag and right. see what space you have uh, and what you want to try. Right, you want to be successful, definitely. And now you have some samples here of some plants that have maybe just a little bit of a problem. Well, this one has a uh, rhododendron lace bug. This, is, this damage was done last year. This is last year's growth. The new growth for this year hasn't come out yet. So this is last year's damage, that's not gonna go away. Same thing on the azalea, there's a lace bug, and this one also has had mites when it was very dry uh, last uh, summer. So there's not much you're gonna do about it. Watch for it when um, the new growth comes out and watch for damage, and you can go on the OSU online and find out um, what the treatments are for lace bug on either azalea or rhododendron, when to use it and how. Right, it's a wonderful time to be out in the garden this late winter, early spring. So really just enjoy it what it is and don't jump the gun. We'll have lots of projects for you later on in the season. Jan, thanks so much. Thank you.